Yo guys, what's up? Today I'm going to tell you things you can put inside your bag when you go out on your scooter. Roughly, there's nothing in my bag, because obviously it's raining as you hear. So, so I, I thought I'd make a quick video on things that you put in your bag, or what I put in my bag, that, that I recommend that you should put in your bag for when you go out on your scooter, or skateboard, or whatever. So first, we've obviously got spare parts. That's like, for me, a main thing. I have a load, so I've just took out a few things that I will take with me. So I've got a few spacers, and I've also got a few bearing spacers as well. And obviously, I, I've just took out two little bearings, which, which would you put in the wheel. And also, that, that's you put this inside your wheel. And you put a bearing spacer going that way. I can't even balance this right. And then you'll put the bearing on top, so you can like sandwich that in the middle. And obviously, that makes the wheel spin. You don't actually need a bearing spacer, but I do highly recommend it. So, with that being said, let's go on with the next one. Right, so for the next one, I've actually got tools. So obviously, I've got my own keys here. I've got two, because obviously, these are the same size. These obviously just different colour. And they are measured in, I think this one is Imperial Unit, and this is... Today's unit, whatever you want to call it, I have no clue. So if we go to our size five, which is five here, then we'll go, that's three down, so that'll be 13, 26. Don't ask why I like this. So we've got the exact same, and obviously on the back wheel and the clamp, no, no, not the clamp, the compression, you'll be able to tighten it a bit faster with two. I mean, you actually need two. So I usually bring Allen keys just in case, I don't know, I need to tighten something, or, or, or let's say I'm out with my mates and they need something, let's say, they need, I don't know, new wheel or whatever, I'll just, I'll just get, oh, I've got Alan keys here, you can borrow them. But usually I only bring them for my use, but, you know, with that being said, let's go with the next one. For the next one, it's actually like safety equipment. It may sound a bit weird at first, but if you think about it, if you fall off, you might, you know, I don't know, hurt yourself. So I came off on the pump track not so long ago, and I absolutely cut my leg open, and I couldn't ride for like two weeks, so I, that's why I bought equipment. So obviously here we've got the helmet, which I look really weird in. I'm joking. So you've got the helmet here that you would that I would usually wear when you're, like, you're out on your scooter or skateboard or whatever. So if you fall off, that's obviously not going to... It damage the helmet rather than your head because you can usually get a new helmet but not a new head. And obviously, you've got here, you got a camera, you've got your uh, knee pads here, which usually you put on your knees and if you, you can slide on like that. And then obviously, the obvious will be the elbow pads as well. So you just put that on your elbows here, and obviously, if you fall, you just got that. But usually, if I go out with my mates, I'm going to start, I've, I've made up like a new thing, I'm, I'm going to wear my helmet just. Obviously, going down there, but then obviously, I'm gonna have oh my god, it feels so weird. I'm gonna have uh, these two in my bag just in case we end up doing something and like I don't know, I just wanna wear it. Then obviously, you've got the obvious, which is going to be the gloves. So, obviously, I can remember falling over. I look, obviously, I protect my face, but I put my hand in front, that's just the natural instinct. I put my hand on, it's scraped all the way. You can't see anymore, it's here, but I had a massive cut all the way here. And I couldn't do a lot of things, and like, I could, but like, it showed a bit. So that's why I got myself some gloves. I know they're back of gloves, but they're actually really thick there. So if, if I just quickly just chuck one on, if I... Yeah, so you see here, you got obviously the gloves on. And if you fall, you see you here, you'll fall and you'll slide. And obviously you'll have, usually your ear of the equipment on, you'll at least have a helmet on. So this is what I think you should have when you're riding your scooter or skateboard, or even possibly bike. Obviously you want different things for a bike, we're getting that to another video. Uh, thank you for a lot of views on the other video, I really appreciate it. I woke up and it had like 30 views, I was like, okay, that's normal. And then I got to school, I checked it when I got well, 90, I was like, oh my god, 90. And then, I, and then the next day, which is today when I'm filming, it's on 603. I'm not sure how much is it on when I'm posting this. I'll be posting this, what is it today? I'm posting this on Thursday. So it's crazy that you're on 600 views on Wednesday. That's crazy. I don't know how many views it's on now, but keep on rising it, keep on subscribing. And if, if you enjoy this type of content, Subscribe for more. So obviously, if you subscribe for magic, I'm sorry. I'm going to slowly stop doing that. I'm going to slowly stop. I'm going to make myself a tripod. And also, do you know people when they wear like a 
what's it called, like a chest strap, have like a camera on so you can see your POV. I might get one of them, but I, but I'm, I don't want to like get it and I do terrible on YouTube. So if this video, if you can get this video to at least 20, 20 views or 13 likes, 13, the weird number, 13 likes, and I hit 100 and, I hit 200 subscribers by next year, I'm going to consider getting it. So thanks for watching the video. Stay safe. Peace. Hi.